All right, guys, I, I wanted to mention two other things that I, I thought of after I turned off the video. Um, I have um, stuck to my liquid diet, but I have had a couple of food notable worth mentioning things. Um, I've been eating the broths, but I got the first few days after surgery. Keep in mind, I, I did a clear liquid diet for a few days before, and I was starving. I was really hungry. Um, I even told the anesthesiologist that, uh, I just want to have the surgery when I'm right before he puts me under. I'm like, we're joking about other things, but I said, I'm looking forward just to having the surgery done. So I'm not starving anymore. I'm so hungry. And, uh, so afterwards, the first few days I was having a lot of mental hunger, way more than I'm even having right now. And I just would, and I was watching TV a lot, just in a recliner. I couldn't do much. And there's tons of food commercials, pizza commercial commercials, uh, hamburger, cheeseburger, uh, chicken. And then I, I'm a dummy that watches uh, um, Man vs. Food, and he's all eating fried chicken and stuff. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like I wanted to see it, even though I couldn't eat it. Uh, so I was having a lot of head hunger. And so, um, and I was starting to feel a little weak so after the three days. I was walking and I was feeling really weak. And I was doing all the right things, drinking my liquids and, and trying to get my proteins in. But I needed calories, I think. My body was saying, you need some calories. You need to not think about, you need to find a way to get liquid, get calories. And so that's when I went to the store to try to buy th to find this. While I was there at the, the Vons or Safeway, I saw, I looked through their soups that they have. And they had a chicken noodle. And I thought, maybe I can get that chicken noodle and I'll just strain it. You know, that's one of my things that's okay right now, strain soups. And I was like, oh, it was really chunky, though. It was like a chunkier one, and, and it, w it, was, it wasn't as much broth. So they also had, though, a soup that was broccoli cheddar soup. And I know that would, no, 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 don't do broccoli cheddar soup. But this particular one was, was super thin, more thin than I would get, I would like, if I was regularly not sleeve. I wouldn't want a thin one. But it was super thin. It didn't have pin, big chunks of broccoli in it. And... Uh, it was more just kind of a, a light cream cheddar soup with a little broccoli. So I went ahead and got a small portion of that, brought it home, and I strained it, or just actually just got the chunks out. And I was able to eat, you know, four or five bites of that. Um, I think I had a spoons full of that. And instantly the taste was so good. It was amazing. Instantly, the, like 10 minutes after I ate that, I started feeling better. I, the calories in that in that soup started making me feel better. It was night and day, and, and I felt good for a couple of hours. And then I started coming down again, and then um, later in the evening, I ended up having a little more of that soup. But that was a big deal. So that wasn't necessarily something I should have eaten probably, but it was thin. I can have strained soups, and I didn't have any stomach issues with that at all. The, nice, the warmth of it was good, and that was a huge thing. They got me through. Um, and then yesterday morning, which was day six morning, I decided I started getting too confident and I decided to try a scrambled egg. I tried a scrambled egg. I put a little bit of ketchup on it and I took maybe four bites, small bites, and I chewed it up a ton. Mm, I chewed it up till it was just pasty, like with my, you know, a little moist from the ketchup and the saliva, thinking that would get down. It was the worst thing I've ever done so far. <laughs> it just hung up right here on the top. It hung up. It wouldn't go down. I instantly was thinking, what am I going to do? Um, it wasn't extremely painful. It was just super uncomfortable. So I, I walked around the house. I just walked around the house thinking, I got to get this thing to pass. Um... I even uh, put on the shoes and walked down the sh up the block and back a couple blocks, thinking maybe I can walk it off. I was afraid to drink water. I drank a little water to help get it down. And uh, I thought either I'm going to get it down with the water or I'm going to have to, I'm going to get to throw it up. So I tried to kind of gag myself and, and throw up. I couldn't, I'm not a big throw up person. I'm, I couldn't gag myself. And I felt like it was already a little too far down for that. Um, but I just sipped on a little water. And I kept walking around the house and it eventually passed. It eventually about took about a half hour. It, I felt horrible for hours though, like maybe three hours. Even after I felt like it went into the stomach, I just didn't feel, feel well uh, because of it. And I just want to document that because technically I'm not supposed to eat scrambled eggs till next week anyway. 
but I went ahead and tried it and it was a learning it was a I'm glad I did and I'm saying that I'm glad I did that because after that I know okay now I know what my sleep can do now I know it's not ready for those kind of foods and um, I'm not gonna put push myself anymore because I don't want to feel that pain so that's a huge thing and I think all of us our, our minds our bodies have to get used to this this foreign stomach because we're forever you know changed that way um, and and things got to adjust to it so since then I've been able to say okay let's stay on liquids for a while um, you know I'll try some some more things like that and uh, you know I do want to try like I have tried also on a side note I have tried refried beans just a couple of spoonfuls and it did okay actually the refried beans I you know it, it, I got it down and, and it felt good and that's what kind of gave me the confidence the next day to try that scrambled egg but uh, that was it so anyway I don't want to ramble on too much more uh, thanks again guys take care